you, we're going. Today I want to go over these Adidas Velo Sambas. Tell you what I like, what I don't like, and what features it has. While these are leather and not vegan, it seems like it would be very easy for them to make a vegan version. What do you know? You don't run a shoe company. Modularity. Can you run this shoe without the clips in them as an everyday shoe? Or take them to the skate park and hop on a board? The answer is a hard no. These are a cycling shoe. And what makes them a cycling shoe? There's a full length nylon internal plate, which is heavier than carbon, but it has a little more flex, which means that these are great for commuting or a use case where you have to ride somewhere and do a decent amount of walking. There you go, you see that? Just enough. There's a permanent cutout with a two bolt compatibility for SPD and mountain cleats. The stripes in the back detail are reflective, which is fine with me because it's not obnoxious, but it does add a little bit of functionality which is nice. Fit and feel. I wear a US size 11 and ordered a US size 11. I'd say the fit is fairly true to size. I do have a slightly narrower foot and these do fit fairly well. So if you have a wide foot, I don't know if these are gonna match. But if you're on the fence, I suggest ordering them, trying them on at home and sending them back if they don't fit. Adidas will cover that. One thing I did notice about these was the outsole is a little wide at the ball of the foot and these rubbed on the crank arms more than any other clipless shoes that I own. After doing a few rides in these over a couple hours long, I noticed that my feet were not necessarily feeling so hot. So for big days, this is not the shoe. There was noticeably a little bit of heel slip in these when I was riding and walking around in them. Nothing crazy, but it was noticeable. It does have one of those elastic lace savers for tucking your laces after they're tied. And generally, I love these, but how they designed these was not the smartest way. They actually anchored the elastic to this flimsy tongue, which binds the tongue in because the elastic is stronger than the material of the tongue. Dear Adidas, anchor the elastic to the underside of the eye stays. And there's almost a little bit too much padding around the collar. This isn't a skate shoe. I don't understand why they, why is it so padded? Less is more. And my last very small gripe is the logo hit on the tongue. I can't handle this logo. What about the trifoil? Come on, that's gonna look classy. Big surprise, this is not a performance shoe. As much as I wanted to ride everything in these shoes, I just can't. And these shoes aren't trying to be a performance shoe. Where these shoes excel is what these shoes were designed to do and that's commuting. These are by far the best looking commuting cycling shoes ever. Thank you Adidas for finally addressing this massive hole in the market. When you're wearing these, you cannot tell that they're clipless. Nobody can tell. You're like a secret cycle nerd when you have these shoes on. It's amazing. And walking in them is the best experience I've ever had walking in a cycling shoe. I can't even, I'm gonna walk in them right now. Comfort and fit on these shoes for commuting and walking around town is spot on. That's what they were made to do and that's what they excel at. I mean, I wouldn't put these on just to walk, but if you had to walk with them on. At first I thought the fit was a little funny, but the more that I wore them, the more I got used to them. Because this is a specific shoe, you can't do everything with this shoe. This shoe excels at commuting and walking around. You're not gonna skate in this shoe. You're not gonna do big miles in this shoe. You're definitely not gonna go running in this shoe. My conclusion, for commuting, highly suggested. For actual rides, there's better options out there. And what I would like to see from Adidas is for them to dive into the culture a little bit more and their interpretation of a technical riding shoe for gravel. Who am I kidding? They're never gonna watch this. What type of cycling shoes would you like to see from Adidas or other brands in the future? If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. And check out the EBD Gear Shop, the greatest place on the internet. Until next time, dear friend, this is Dustin Klein, signing off. I'm taking all my damn shoes with me.